Genesis 5.14 When man began to increase in number on the earth, and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were beautiful, and they married any of them they chose. Then the Lord said, My spirit will not contend with men forever, for he is mortal. His days will be numbered 120 years. The Nephilim, I mean Nephilim, were on the earth in those days and also afterward. Then the gods of the sons of God went to daughters of men and had children by them. They were heroes of old, men of renown. The Lord saw how great man's wickedness on earth had become and that every inclination of their thoughts and of his heart was only evil all the time the lord was grieved that he made them or man on earth and his heart was filled with pain so the lord said i will wipe mankind whom i created from the face of the earth men and animals creatures and all move that all that move along the ground and birds of the air and for i am grieved that i have made them but noah found favor in the eyes of the lord so he walked with god noah had three sons shem ham and japheth and god said to build an ark and put every creature in it and he said he will wipe he everything on earth will perish but I will establish my covenant with you and you will enter the ark you and your sons and your wife and your sons wives with you and bring every creature living creature male and female into the ark of all kinds and so he Noah was 600 years old when the flood waters came on the earth and Noah and his sons and his wives and his sons wives and sons they all entered the ark to escape the water floods on that day the in the 600th year of Noah's life, on the 17th day, on the second month, on that day, all the springs of the great deep burst forth, and the flood waters of heaven were open, and rain fell on the earth 40 days and 40 nights. And so they were in there as God had commanded Noah. Then God shut him in. The 40 days the flood kept coming on the earth. And as the waters increased, they shifted the ark high above the earth. And only Noah was left and those with him in the ark. At the end of the 150 days, the water had gone down. And on the 17th day of the 17th month, the ark came to rest on the mountains of this name. And then after the 40 days, Noah opened the window and he had made in the ark. The, and he sent out a raven, but the raven came back. Then he sent out a dove to see if the water had receded from the surface of the ground, but the dove couldn't find a place. So when the dove returned to him the, um, in the evening, there in its beak was a freshly plucked olive. He waited seven more days after the dove came back and then he sent him out again and he came back with the olive leaf in his mouth and then Noah knew that 
the water had receded. By the first day of the first month, Noah's six hundred and first year, the water had dried up on the earth. Noah then removed the covering from the ark and saw that the surface of the ground was dry. By the twenty seventh day, on the twenty, on the second month, the earth was completely dry. Then God said, "Come out of the ark." And so he came out of the ark. And as long as the earth, this is what God says: as long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night will never cease. Then God made a covenant with Noah. He said, "I have set my rainbow in the clouds, and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth." So God said to Noah, "This is the sign of the covenant I have established between me and all the life on earth." 